Well, I, li- I like the fact that um, Azerbaijan have a song with a bit more substance this time. Um, I also like the fact that one of, at least one of the songwriters is native to Azerbaijan. Mm-hmm. Um, I, qu- I quite like this. It's got a quite a almost grungy feel to, to start with. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Who knows what, what's going to happen to this song? It's a tough field. Um, but it, it would be a shame um, for them to um, fail um, with a much better song this time. A bit like a bit like when Sweden failed with um, Anna Berriendahl. Mm. Yeah, that's all I have to say, really. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, this one kind of underwhelms me like it's got a really good atmosphere and it's theoretically something i should really like but oh. there's just nothing to it it's just all atmosphere and it's just just nothing like there's there's just no hook in it like like if they had an actual like catchy hook this song could have been like amazing but it's just like all bluster and no substance to me is just completely yeah. flies me by and I see quite a lot of people say that they really like this and go oh this is amazing and Azerbaijan's going to do really well with this and um, well you know Ross that you brought up that I did a Facebook post about how this, the first semi-final is ripe for a shock non-qualifier and, and I had a theory as to who it might be well my theory is that it's going to be it, that, it might be Azerbaijan I might change my mind once I see the running order and the staging but right now I'm just thinking this reminds me an awful lot of the 2015 entry and that almost didn't qualify that you know that song also was all atmosphere and no hook and a little bit too pretentious for its own good and i can't see how they're going to stage it that's not going to be a bit too dark and inaccessible for the audience so i i don't know i think i might change my mind once we see the running order and the staging as i said but right now i just I just don't see how this is going to click with people at home. And I'm thinking this might be a shock non-qualifier, at least for the time being, at least. Well, when I first heard this song, I really liked it. Um, On first listen, I I guess part of me was just relieved that because I think up up to that point, we'd had quite a lot of ballads and everyone was complaining that there were so many ballads. Um, So I was quite happy that there was one that wasn't a ballad. Um, and I'd also really liked um, the music video that I'd seen uh, Dihaj, her last single or something. And I really liked the kind of vibe that it had. It was very edgy. So I was one, I was relieved that they hadn't taken her too far away from the kind of music that she makes anyway. Mm. Um, because I, I, I don't like it when you hear an artist and they do mu- a certain type of music. And then when they go to Eurovision, they're just doing, you know, a standard pop song that's clearly not what they would do normally. Mm. Um, because it, they they can't really you know give it everything that they're going to give it. So I think that works in its favor, and that she's doing something that I think she's probably quite comfortable with. Um, I do agree that there probably is more um, of a. It probably leans more towards the atmosphere than you know a hook or a, you know a, a song that's really going to grab people. But at the same time, I don't know if that's necessarily a bad thing Mm -hmm. I think this one it's really going to come down to how well it's staged and where it is in the running order because I do think it's kind of a borderline for me I think it's probably qualifying in eighth or ninth Mm. um but I don't know I I I, when I was when I was listening to the recap of the semi-final earlier I I think that if this and Iceland get drawn close together uh, especially if they're one after the other that's where it will be one or the other that qualifies, I think. Yeah. Because I, mean, I think oh, they're really? similar in terms of, uh, you know, just in general, I think they're quite similar sounding. And mm. I think which everyone's performed better on the night is going to be the one that qualifies. Yeah, I mean, theoretically, that could happen. Like, they could have Azerbaijan in ninth and Iceland in 10th. So it is possible. And that it would be interesting. Could... But, uh, but I kind of worry that it would be Iceland that falls. Because if Iceland didn't qualify last year with which 
I thought was one of the best staged performances mm. uh, visually. Um, and I, I love that song anyway. If that failed, then I don't know. I, I would maybe say maybe there's more favor in Azerbaijan's side in terms of voting power. I don't know. Oh, don't remind uh, me about Iceland last year. I know, year. I know. S- still not over it. No. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, okay, so um, do we have anything else on us by Jean before we give it a score? Yeah, just, just a little thing. Go, going on from what, what you were saying, Ross, about um, Dihaj's normal sound. I was hoping for something a little bit more alternative and maybe something even in Azerbaijani. Mm-hmm. But... You know, I'm pretty happy with what we've got, um, even if it could have been even better, I think. Yeah, I know. I think I'm with you. I think I probably would. I would like this more, I think, if it was a little still like, because I think her own stuff's pretty alternative. This is kind of in the middle between, you know, her stuff and more commercial stuff. And I think Mm. they probably tried to find that balance. I, I think I would like it if it was slightly more towards her usual stuff but I think they've probably taken as far as they can mm. towards the commercial side that she would be oh. comfortable with mm. so um, but no I, I do I do hear you on that but um, I think that I'm looking forward to hearing what she does next to hear if it's you know back to the older stuff or if it's you know somewhere in between hmm. that would be interesting okay so let's give Azerbaijan a score I'm going to give this a three um, it's a three from me as well yeah, for me, it's a three. It's almost a four, but it's not quite there. Okay. And the public, they give it a four out of five. Ooh, a lot more positive. <laughs> yeah. yeah. As I, as I said, people seem to like it a lot, and I don't completely get it, but oh well. I don't get a lot of, like, f- 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 well, like, songs that <laughs> the fans like, but anyway. I digress. <laughs> 